Hey folks, welcome to uh, the 17th of March's edition um, for the Feast Produce Report. First, some housekeeping um, from a week or so ago. Um, many of you may have got some bananas which had trouble ripening. Um, I just wanted to allay any concerns about supply. Uh, this week's fruit will ripen nicely. Uh, essentially, the crux of the problem was that they were coming too green from the farm and uh, therefore weren't colouring up. But that's an indication of this week's ripeness. A um, little bit of yellow starting to show, green tips, and these will be nice eating for, for Wednesday. Apologies to uh, any of you who may have lost some fruit. Um, if you have, please contact Julia. I'd like to talk about uh, some of the tropical treats we've got for you this week. Um, now these things don't come onto the market all that often, um, so I think it's worth talking about if you want to try something a little bit nice and a little bit special. Mango steams I've spoken about before. Uh, an Asian fruit. Beautiful and sweet. First, the guavas coming in from Queensland. The guavas are uh, a native of Mexico. Eat them basically when they're a little bit more yellow than that, and they start to get a little bit of softness in the skin. Beautiful pink flesh. Um, there are some seeds in there, and it's uh, an interesting kind of flavour to describe. I don't think I can describe it other than it's just like a guava. One of my favourite fruits for this time of year is the, uh, the custard apple. Uh, these are native to tropical South America, um, however these are grown in North Queensland, it's the first of the season. Now these are African prides, small style of, of custard apple, fairly firm and these will take the best part of the week to ripen. Um, you don't eat them until you can actually push the skin in and they feel reasonably soft. Um, the flesh inside is, is white, when you break them apart it's actually not unlike um, say a barramundi fish almost like a flesh-like fruit inside. The sweetness is quite intense. Look, they're a great fruit for kids. I recommend them for toddlers. Break them up. There are a few seeds in there. Scoop out the pulp. It's almost like, well, it is custard-like in texture. And as I said, wonderfully creamy sweet. Now, things on the way out. Um, I've just mentioned a few things that are on the way in, and those will make a brief appearance. But on their way out are the stone fruits. Peaches. Getting very much towards the end. Um, these are some demo certified peaches from Victoria. Quite large fruit. Um, they're still eating magnificently. Plums, a few different varieties, all the larger styles. Unfortunately, my favourite, the sugar plum, is finished. Um, basically, that was uh, hindered by frost this year's crop. I think one of the nicest fruits to be eating this time of year are the grapes. I mentioned that last week, the Sultana grapes are brilliantly sweet. We've also got Menindi seedless, which are not far behind the Sultanas in terms of sweetness. On special this week are the Red Globe grapes. Um, they're a larger fruit than say the Menendi seedless or the, the sultanas uh, they, and they do have seeds but beautiful sweet fruit. Apples again, fantastic apples from Forest Orchard. Galas, again beautiful sized pieces but we've only got the first grade this week. Johnny's, we've got a mixture of sizes there and we've got a mixture of grades, first grade and second. That's an example of a second grade piece and we've also got uh, only seconds this week in the Golden Delicious from Forest Orchard. There are some first grade Golden Delicious from Tasmania. Greenwood Biodynamic Pears. Williams and Bear Bosch. Avocados, still small pieces. Fabulous lemon starting. Ruby red grapefruit have started. Look at the colour of that. Good supply of strawberries this week, uh, though not from our preferred grower. Um, at least these are, you know, free from contamination, pesticides and the like. Um, but don't have quite the intensity of flavour that uh, we've had from other growers in the recent weeks. Last thing I want to say about fruit is how good were those raspberries last week. Oh, magnificent. While we're talking berries, cream, uh, milk starting to run again. So uh, good supply of fresh cream this week, yum yum yum. Great unsalted butter, biodynamic butter from Paris Creek down in South Australia. Beautiful. This is a fabulous week to do something about protecting yourself from colon cancer and bladder cancer. Oh, I've got two magnificent vegetables this week that are really great in terms of protecting you from uh, these diseases. The first of the Brussels sprouts for the season. Beautiful fresh sprouts. Um, a much maligned vegetable but one of my favourites. I absolutely love these steamed and then a little bit of butter on top. I'm sure that's good for you too. Each one of these little critters has around about 270 odd percent your daily requirements of vitamin K. Now vitamin K is essential uh, in helping you absorb calcium and keeping nice strong healthy bones. It's got something like 160% of your daily vitamin C requirements. Uh, so don't just think oranges this winter. 
packed full of all sorts of wonderful things. Uh, beans, very similar to uh, the Brussels sprouts in terms of uh, your vitamin K, vitamin C, uh, lots of B vitamins, iron and the like. Three magnificent varieties of uh, cucumbers to show you. Uh, you've got your normal long green, good size. Uh, Lebanese cucumbers, uh, quite a healthy size. Um, a great non-acid variety. Also, um, some crystal apples. See there, quite well sized. And that's also another lovely, fresh, uh, non-acid style of cucumber. Cauliflowers, nice large pieces, quite clean. Beetroot, we've got nice big bulbs. You can also buy bunches this week. Fantastic lettuce, um, icebergs, nice medium to large size hearts. But plenty of beautiful crisp silver beet. Uh, the leeks, a moderate size leek. Uh, cabbages on the largest side, particularly for the red cabbages. That's quite a large ready. Broccoli on special, again this week. Carrots are mostly large and just brilliantly sweet. Really, really lovely to eat um, raw. Good supply of red and green capsicums. Plenty of zookies this week, which are also on special. Tomatoes, good late flush from Queensland. And nice colour for both the round and the romas. Oh, we've only got the, the Swiss brown mushrooms, which is a more flavoursome mushroom in the, uh, in the loose. A very, very limited supply of button mushrooms in the pre-packs. Beautiful fresh corn from Pinehaven. Butternut pumpkins on special this week, $1.95 a kilo, so you're looking at around the $2.50 a mark for a piece that size. Once again, a great range of potatoes. We've got uh, plenty of uh, Desiree, Dutch creams, Bago, and Nicola. Here's an example of the Desiree. Bake up to be a nice yellow kind of flesh with the red skin. A little bit waxy, great for salads and chipping. Easter, Easter this weekend, and uh, I meant to show you these earlier, uh, but we've got um, Organic Times Easter eggs, now this uh, is made from chocolate which is made with Rapadura whole cane sugar. Um, Rapadura is a very unprocessed, unrefined sugar. Um, it doesn't look that dissimilar to a brown sugar. And, uh, essentially what it means is it's quite molassesy, and that comes through in the chocolate. Um, I love eating these eggs this time of year. I will eat several. And also I guess one of the benefits with Rapadura sugar is uh, not being so refined, it's got lots of the B vitamins and, and those sorts of things that you tend to find in molasses as well. Um, so a little bit healthier for you than uh, a standard Easter egg. Stacks of different hot cross buns. Uh, my advice is order early because we've only got a limited quantity of these coming. Um, so we've got spelt uh, hot cross buns made with normal wheat flour, with rye flour, with spelt flour. Uh, there's a whole range there so you can cover all your uh, different dietary requirements. Um, but as I said, best to order a week early. That's about all I've got to say for you this week. Please have a wonderful Easter break. Uh, we'll see you either at uh, Broadmeadow Farmer's Market on the Sunday, or we'll see you next week. Thank you.